Operation Vector Glare is launching on June 7th, and here's what the new season of Rainbow Six Siege is bringing your way. A new attacker named Sens and their ROU projector system, a wheel that rolls along the ground and deposits projectors that create these walls of light, cutting off the defender's vision. Sens is also packing a new weapon, the high-capacity POF-9 assault rifle, which you can test out on the new shooting range and get a feel for it before jumping into the new team deathmatch map called Close Quarter. But that's not all. Operation Vector Glare is unlocking a third secondary weapon option for some operators and giving you a way to earn free operators just by playing with your friends. So let's break it down. Starting with Sens, this Belgian operator is a 3 health, 1 speed attacker who brings significant firepower and utility to bear on the battlefield. In their primary weapon slot, they can rock the 417 marksman rifle or the new POF9 assault rifle complete with a high capacity magazine. Secondary options include the SDP 9mm or the GON 6, and for gadgets, a hard breach charge or a claymore. But what you're most likely to notice when Sens takes the field are these. Bright walls of light obscuring your sight and hiding whatever shenanigans the attackers are getting up to. These walls are generated by Sens' unique gadget, the ROU projector system which rolls along the ground, dropping little projector units that instantly activate, creating a segment of light wall. If the wheel runs into a wall, it will ricochet and continue rolling and dropping projectors until it runs out of juice. The light walls don't hurt or physically block anything. You can easily walk, shoot, or throw things through them. But they do cover quite a bit of ground, allowing Sens to cut off a lot of sight lines and conceal their activities. Maybe you need to create cover for a quick revive, or a cheeky diffuser plant. Or maybe you just want to get the defenders looking in one room while your team executes in another. The ROU is very distracting, and as we all know, distraction is dangerous. So how are the defenders going to handle this? Well, the walls do deactivate after a time, so a little patience can be powerful. But if you're looking for something a little more active, Warden is a hard counter for Sens as his glance smart glasses can see right through the ROU walls. Other defenders who can help mitigate Sens' meddling are Jaeger, whose ADS will destroy the wheel and prevent it from dropping more projectors, and Wamai, whose magnet gadget will catch the wheel, then release it on an unpredictable new trajectory. Aruni's Surya Gates will zap the wheel, unless it scoots by underneath, and while Mute's jammers won't stop the wheel, they will disable any projectors that the wheel drops within their range. Bulletproof cameras can similarly disable the projectors with their EMP burst, and they can also be used to look through the walls and spy on what the attackers are up to. Maestro's evil eyes can also see through the walls, but their lasers cannot destroy the projectors, nor can bullets. To clear out Sens' projectors, you'll want explosives. A quick impact grenade will do nicely. Now, if that sounds like a lot of utility interaction, it is. Sens's gadget is deeply entwined with the strategic interplay of loadouts and gadgets that happens around a siege objective. And we've just covered the basics here. I didn't even mention how barbed wire slows the wheel down, shortening the distance it can cover, or how a well-placed proximity alarm can help a defender monitor an entryway even if an ROU wall is blocking it. Sens introduces a new strategic catalyst to Siege, and with their hard-hitting loadout, is sure to be one to watch when the season launches on June 7th. And let's talk about some of the other stuff coming with Operation Vector Glare, like a hot new spot for Team Deathmatch. The new map, dubbed Close Quarter, is the first Siege map purpose-built for TDM, meaning there are no areas designed for defensive setups. It's fast, it's chaotic, and it's made of color-coded room modules to help you get your bearings, or get revenge after respawning. 
If you've enjoyed the frequent firefights of Team Deathmatch, but are looking for somewhere a little more low-key to try out your weapons, head on over to the new Shooting Range. With two adjustable target lanes, it's the perfect spot to test out any new balancing updates or to familiarize yourself with any operator's weapons, even the ones you don't have unlocked. And speaking of weapons, some operators can look forward to getting a third secondary weapon option, particularly those that may have had a secondary weapon option removed with the addition of the GON-6. And one more tip before we go, take a minute to Google the new Squad Up program for Siege. It's a neat way to earn free operators and an exotic weapon skin just for playing with friends who haven't played Siege in a while. Check it out. Operation Vector Glare hits the test server on PC on May 24th, with the full season launch slated for June 7th. You can play Sens at launch with the premium track of the Vector Glare Battle Pass, or unlock them two weeks after launch with Renown or R6 credits. For the latest on Rainbow Six Siege, follow this YouTube channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.